Spooky, spooky, scary game! Welcome to Siren Head. Uh, this is a game that a bunch of people have been asking me to play recently. So, here I am, playing it. Are you happy? Hopefully. All right, let's go. This is a game on Itch.io that just came out recently. Um, I don't know what about it everybody wants me to play it for. That didn't really make any sense. Uh, Pine Ridge hiking trail. I can't go over there where the safe, safe car is. All right. I like the aesthetic of it. Can I take back the statement that I just said? I don't actually like the aesthetic, the aesthetic of it. It's creepy. Can I take that backpack? What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? Okay, cool. Can I... Can I pick any of these things up? I can zoom in. There's blood on the wall. Love that. That's wonderful. Very inviting. Very inviting. So why is there a giant uh, siren man? running through the woods and by siren man i don't mean like what the mythical siren creature the hell is that i should take a closer look what i mean is a giant like iron giant sort of figure i have to get back to the truck now oh you're right here what do i do with this giant man Oh! 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 I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it! It reminds me of... It reminds me of the, the late 90s, early 2000s. Ooh. No, that's... That's the... That's the... That... It's the weather. It's the weather service announcement thing. It's when there's a weather thing happening. I'm getting flashbacks to my childhood. I don't like these songs at all, but I won't be able to get back to my truck. Will I? I can't hop that gate. There's no way I could hop that gate. Am I gonna have to drive? What is that giant siren creature? Why is it out chilling in the woods? Making a ruckus, giving out weather service announcements. Maybe it's a hero. Was that the whole thing? What happens if I get eaten by it? I'd like to know. I want to see what happens if we get got. There's got to be more, right? There's got to be more secrets around here. Is that a warning siren? Where could that be coming from? The big, big man in the woods is where it's coming from. You see him? Crouching out there, walking through the woods. Do you see it? See, what about these backpacks? It's a backpack. Maybe it belongs to the missing hiker. But why leave it behind? Oh, okay. So uh, there's a missing hiker. Okay, I got to use my zoomy ins. Scrap of shirt. Looks like there was a struggle. Why does the siren man... Why does he thirst for blood? More strange scratch marks. Yeah. Hmm. The scratches seem to lead up here. So... I want to know the lore. Give me the lore of the man. The myth, the legend, the siren boy. The hell is that? I should take a closer look. Well, gee whiz, could that be? So that's the hiker. I have to get back to the truck now. All right, sir. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I don't want, I don't want to get bamboozled at all. What happens if I let him get me? Oh, he's taking me somewhere? Oh, he's, oh, he's just killing me. Okay. Is that all that happened? I thought this was going to be a much longer game than this. Let's look up the lore. All right, we dive in deep, boys. Here we go, here we go. Looking up the lore of this creature. Siren Head, she was on vacation with her husband, and they were scoping out graveyards on the way, as you do, when she saw it. Rising out of the old cemetery, big as an old telephone pole. <gasps> Was this some kind of bizarre act, art piece the authorities hadn't gotten wise to yet? Even as she stepped out of her car, the megaphones on its head screeched to life. Nine, eight, two, one, child, 
70. Remove. Fire. A buzzing, doubled voice screamed random words at her. At this point, it jerked into motion, striding down the hill towards her. The Tumblr caption for the original drawing of Siren Head. This is the original drawing. Siren Head is a hostile cryptid and urban legend created by the artist Trevor Henderson. It's a tall, mysterious humanoid creature known for its odd appearance and the various sounds that emanate out of its head, which consists of a metallic pole with sirens attached to it. Originally, Siren Head has been created back in 2018 by the Canadian horror type artist known as Trevor Henderson, who is known for making various bizarre creatures over the internet. The other creations include Cartoon Cat, okay, Country Road Creature, The Bridge Worms, The Man with the Upside Down Face, The Smile Room, The Good Boy, The Lamb, The Giants, and Long Horse. Okay, the first photo of Siren Head he made was the one featuring Siren Head at the graveyard, in which he wrote a story about. Henderson also mentioned that Siren Head is very similar to the famous creepypasta character today known as Slenderman. Okay, interesting. 40 foot tall humanoid creature. All right, true to its name, Siren Head speakers can play various types of loud noises, blah, blah, blah. Hunting tactic is blending into the environment. This usually consists of heavy woodlands and rural, rural areas. First sighting of Siren Head occurred in 1966 when a family on vacation in the Arizona desert captured an image of Siren Head near two telephone poles. Interesting, interesting. Audio samples. Oh, that's the one. Oh, oh, imagine. Oh, imagine walking through the woods. There's no one around you. And then you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. No, imagine you're in the woods and you see this giant. You know, you don't see it first. You hear it first. Just like this. A noise. A peculiar noise. You hear a thumping in the woods by you, and then you hear it. The radio signal. You don't know where it's coming from, but you're not immediately frightened. I mean, how could it hurt you? It's just a radio signal. But then it gets closer. You know it's moving towards you, and you hear the thump, thump, thump. Oh boy, she's spooky. She's spooky. I want to see what these other uh, ick, 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 ick. So that's, these are all the other creatures that Te Trevor Henderson has made. There's Country Road Creature. Oh, this looks, yup, yup, yup. Oh my God, Bridge Worms. Oh, that looks horrible. The man with the upside down face. Uh-huh, the smile room. Oh, yucky, icky, icky, good boy. A lot of these I haven't seen before. These are cool. The lamb? The lamb is a mysterious mutated psychic creature created by Trevor Henderson. Six foot tall, pink and red fleshy entity with a very large body and four feet that ends in points. Has no facial features except for two, uh, a wide vertical slit. Yum. The giants. Oh yeah, I've seen this before. It reminds me of the, the creatures from um, Not Annihilation. You know what movie I'm talking about? Amy Adams is in it. What movie is that? I literally just watched it the other night. It's a very good movie. Like, I really like the movie a lot. Arrival. There we go. And Long Horse. Yuck. Long Horse is the least creepy of, of all of them, I think. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's the least creepy of all of them. I was hunted by Siren Head. Investigate. Okay, okay, okay. First time seeing Siren Head. A Fallout 4 mod. That's kind of fun. Hey. Oh, you hear it. You hear it first. I love that you hear it first. That's so cool. That's a really cool creature. I really like that. It's so mysterious. So mysterious. So creepy. Oh, damn. Oh, that's really cool. I like them effects. That's really cool. Anywho, I liked, I liked that game. Amy Adams, what's up? This is cool. I wanna, I wanna, what do I wanna do? I don't know. I thought that I was gonna be recording longer, but I kind of liked, uh, like, playing the game. It was a very short game, and then diving into the lore of it. I think that that was interesting. I love all these, like, old-looking photos. These are really cool. I love it. I love cryptid sh dude. I really, really do. It's super interesting to me. I've always really loved it, like... 
when I was a kid, I was super obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster. And there was a pond that was near my house that you could go canoeing on. And so I... I sort of like made up that there was a that there was a Loch Ness monster kind of thing in there. I think I named it Greta, something like that. But sea monsters, sea monsters are so damn cool. The ocean is a fascinating place. This is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. It's a fascinating and mysterious and horrifying place and I love it. When was the last time there was a Loch Ness monster sighting? We're really going down a rabbit hole in this video. This took a turn. But when was the last time there was a Loch Ness monster sighting? New video of the Loch Ness monster from ABC. Interesting. What do you have here? That is a, that's a trout. What's that thing in the back though, dude? Was that thing in the back? Could it be? It looks like a very large creature. A very large creature indeed. Ooh, ooh. It's probably just an eel, but that's cool. Oh, Sh Shut up! Me. Anyway, uh, I'll probably end this here. Fun little time. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? We were talking about this in an Unis Honest video the other day. I fully believe that, especially back then, before the internet was around and even like, telephones and stuff like that because the Loch Ness Monster sightings have been going on for years and years and years and years and years. I personally think that at some point something like what is described as the Loch Ness Monster existed. I think it could have been some sort of dinosaur that somehow lived because there was like all these underground caves and stuff like that in Loch Ness. Uh, but I totally think that it could have existed. Do I think it still exists? I don't think so. I think it's probably dead by now. But all of the people having this, these same sightings and stuff, especially back then, could be more than coincidence. Anyway, I'm ending this here. This video took a turn. Hope you still enjoyed it nonetheless. Yep, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later. What is that